You know, and I want the toys from this next movie, actually. Uh, this is switching <laughs> gears quite a bit. You've got to leave the kids at home for this one and bring your taste for blood because that blood spills and worlds are conquered in the thrilling, violent, beautiful epic Mongol. This is the History Channel on steroids. It's the story of Genghis Khan's rise to power, and it's part history, part fable. This is Lawrence of Arabia meets Braveheart. Filming in some of the most stunning locales in the world, the Russian director Sergei Badrov portrays Khan as a visionary and even something of a humanitarian. Known as Temujin in his youth, Khan is a fearsome warrior, but also a compassionate leader. Unlike most of his rivals, he's a man of honor. Now, to be sure, this is a movie version of the 12th century. There's always another soap opera development or perfectly choreographed bloody battle around the corner. This Genghis Khan is part gladiator, part near-feminist family man. He's also really good at riding horses and slicing, dicing, and killing opponents to death, death, death. The action sequences here are first rate. The performance is uniformly excellent, and the cinematography, well, that's as good as I've seen in any film this year. Michael, see it. I would say I liked it enough to rent it, but I wouldn't say it's really, really? anything in this David Lean kind of category of epic filmmaking. Oh, Please. come on. It's not now. Th it's worth Amazing seeing. Amazing sequences. Uh, I would say this, though. Can you honestly remember with any clarity any real details about any of the battle scenes? Because now those are the heart of the picture, and I don't know if other than oh, just sort of you know what? You know, good fall vistas. In the, in the great entertaining tradition of movies like Braveheart and Gladiator where you have hundreds of warriors going at it but the two main rivals always meet in the middle I got no they, problem they with battle the, anybody no, no, else I'm not talking about plausible I, that's a boring argument beautifully anyway. done great mm -hmm. bloody what? Look, killing going look, it on was here. it was an absorbing soul barber I liked it it's better than the John Wayne version of the Conqueror back in 1956 I think slightly better oh, <laughs> okay. and it is it is nice. great you know it's got it does have some real sweep and it does pull you through and I'd say it's a renter for me a strong win no, don't listen to him go see it in the theaters